Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us virtually this evening. It's a shame we can't be doing this in person, um, but circumstances are beyond our control. Um, any of you that have posted questions in the Q&A box um, already, we're, we're getting through these as fast as we can. And Mr Lewis, who is the voice in the background, is actually going through trying to pick up some of the themes that are emerging through the questions and, and we'll put those to us um, as we go. I've been in a few of the tutor group sessions over the last few minutes um, and a lot of what's being asked is what is September going to be like and actually a lot of it we don't know but the bits that we do know is that your daughters are going to have a great time at New Stidwood School and what we've got to make sure is that while there's a lot of uncertainty we focus on the bits that we can control and we say that yes they're going to be in their tutor group yes they're going to have their friends around them they're going to come in on the first day and i saw that somebody asked um, in one of the first question sessions where do they go on the first day they will come up the drive they will come into the main hall and we'll be there to greet them and welcome them as they start their journey for real at new Stupid school they'll be having their lessons in their tutor groups whether that's whole tutor groups or half tutor groups we don't know at the moment um, but they will be part of that tutor group and they'll be part of that tutor group for the next seven years as they move through the school so um, they, they will develop a, a real loyalty and, and camaraderie with their friends that are in that tutor group with them. Mr Lewis are you able to pick up some of the questions for me? Yeah I've just had a, a message to say that uh, one of the form sessions is still going on Mr Blount so if it's all right I'm just going to pop over there and um, let them know that we, we, we're getting started here. Um, one, one thing that lots of people are asking about is about um, is about clubs and how uh, arrangements for clubs in, in the autumn. But I'm, I'm just going to pop out now and uh, come okay. back in a sec. Hang That's on. fine. Do you want me to pick up on the clubs, Mr Blount? Yeah, I'm happy to do that. Um, Go for it. Just to say that we, we will send out a list. It's an ever growing number of clubs. Obviously, things may well be different in September, but we will run everything we can run. Um, I mentioned a few of the clubs, but I'm not sure whether I mentioned the beekeeping club, for example, that we do have bees at Newstead and um, students looking after chickens. From academic clubs to sports clubs, we will run as, as many as we can. Most of the clubs um, do take place during lunchtime. We have a lovely long lunchtime um, because a um, number of students have to get coaches and things after school. And I think uh, one of the things that we uh, we do struggle with is there's not enough lunch times in the week for the number of clubs that we have on. So there will be plenty for your daughters to choose from and it will just be a case of uh, fitting them all in. Absolutely. And um, Mr Blount, there's a question about any chance of a tour of the school before September. I don't think that will be a possibility, is that? We're bound by the government guidance. At the moment, I am only allowed to bring 25% of year 10 and 25% of year 12 onto site at any one time. As soon as we're allowed to get students back, we will have them back in a heartbeat, all full of students. Um, and obviously, as soon as we're allowed, we'll, we'll make sure that happens. Thank you. Um, a few questions about uniform. Um, we don't have really a different summer uniform to winter uniform. The girls have very similar skirts. The, um, sock length is slightly different, but it's not like primary schools where they have a, a almost a completely different uniform. Um, as I said um, to the, the parents of 7P, we will be sending out some more information from the uniform shops. They are all planning to open, but they're just waiting again for government guidance. They're planning to email us next week. And the same will be true for our parents association that run our second hand uniform school as soon as we get the go ahead that we can open that um, which will probably be towards the end of June beginning of July uh, they run a thriving second hand uniform store where where you can get uniform as well um can I just pick up on a question is virtual induction day different from transition class day well our virtual um, transition day is actually happening on the 7th of July so Mrs Sword did say that in her talk earlier, so there will be some taster lessons of virtual treasure hunt and uh, quizzes set by the six formers. But then also in September on the first day that we start back at school, we'll have your sevens in before the rest of the school. Thank you. I just also wanted to pick up a lot of students do clubs after school. Um, there's a Lambda club and a Latin club. And there's a question here 
and do your some students need to leave at four o'clock? No, they need to leave the school site, but the library is open. And if they're doing a club, then obviously they stay at school. Just going through any more questions. We've got a few questions about the, the, the school day and particularly what happens after school um, and whether students can stay after school to either to do clubs or to um, study. The students can study in the library after school um, and we've got two wonderful librarians and they can do if they're doing a club after school, then obviously they stay. I'm just looking for any other questions. I think one of the things about staying after school um, come September, uh, we notice it, they'll be shattered by the end of the day, <laughs> honestly. Mm -hmm. um, mm. They'll be ready to go home and they will they will fall asleep. Um, so, so stay in until six o'clock working in the library. No, that won't happen. <laughs> they'll be shattered. Um, yes. And you see them on a Friday when I'm on the gate and they're walking out and they've had a fantastic week, but they're ready for bed now. <laughs> I think it, uh, initially they, they don't quite get used to using their lockers, so they want to carry everything around with them and they're finding their way around the school, making new friends, all the new exciting lessons. You're right, they'll be absolutely shattered. And one parent has just posted that uniform shops have started taking bookings um, from the 15th of June. So it's worth looking on their website. As I say, we'll be sending out an email next week. In terms of the homework that students will get each evening, so at Newstead, student uh, teachers uh, don't give homework that needs to be handed in the next day. Um, Mr Lewis, who's also with us, um, is responsible for teaching and learning at Newstead. I don't know whether you want to say anything else about homework, Mr Lewis. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we have, um, we, we don't um, have a, uh, uh, sorry, I, you caught me slightly on, slightly on the hop there, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Sword. Um, we, we we have a kind of two pronged approach to homework. Um, we we have regular homework that uh, is set by subject teachers. Um, we try and keep it um, to uh, as as little as possible, and for it to, it to be um, kind of practicing skills um, rather than uh, being new work. What we also have is a program called Learning to Fly which um, gives the students opportunities to, to develop new skills and to really um, develop their, their, their learning skills as well as um, th um, the, the stuff that's, um, uh, that, that they're doing from day to day. It's worth actually looking on the website because all the Learning to Fly stuff is on there and that's, that's, that's really helpful. Absolutely. There's a couple of questions here regarding the virtual induction day. Alan, you may want to pick up on some of this, but um, somebody is asking, Louise Williams is asking whether this will be done from the primary schools or from home. Now, I'm assuming this will be done from home. Um, does that mean parents will have to take the day off if they're working? We've coordinated this with Bromley, so all the Bromley schools have got the same induction day. So if students are local, then I would imagine that, that primary schools will need to coordinate that. OK. So we've got some questions about buses to school in terms of um, school coaches. That's all, all that information is in the welcome pack for you. Um, we've got a question about how many subjects will be taught in year seven. So I'm just thinking so many. <laughs> There's the, uh, the core subjects, obviously English, maths, the three sciences. Students will do a language. They will also do design technology, which is done on a rotation. That's right, Miss House, isn't it? That's right, yes. So in terms of design technology, they get to do um, food, they yes. get to do product design, textiles, and textiles. Um, they'll also get to do um, subjects like, I'm trying to think of the new subjects that they might not have done before, obviously the humanities, geography, history, RP. Um, 
Um, any other questions? So I'll just pick up on one question about how the buddies are allocated. So what I do is I send out a form to the current year sevens asking a few questions about why they would like to be a buddy. Um, and I have a deadline and basically it's first come first serve because everybody wants to be a buddy, but I only need so many buddies. Um, I've got a question here that says, do year seven get to study entrepreneurship? Uh, we do a number of enrichment days. Uh, one of the enrichment days that they'll, they'll get to do is run by a company called Seven Billion Ideas, who are um, entrepreneurs themselves. And the students have a day off timetable, if they choose to do this, where they work in teams, they set up a company, they find a product, they market the project and they give a presentation. And I know the students that did it absolutely loved it. That's one of the uh, enrichment days they have. There was another STEM enrichment day um, this year where they did something about going to the moon, Mr. Blount, or some form of um, space. Um... Yes, and uh, we actually broke the record. Uh, we had the highest team score in the country through that. Um, I'm a scientist. Um, I was very <laughs> proud of that. Um, yes, there, uh, we spoke about clubs, um, but the amount of extracurricular and enrichment is huge. And, and if we can run it, we make it happen um, and then we win it. And the other thing that the girls absolutely love is doing things for charity. You will find that it's absolutely built into Newstead, even from the first day in year seven, they knock on our doors of our offices and they say, can we raise money for this? Do you know what's happening here? We want to do something about it. And that's built into our curriculum in year eight uh, with a programme called First Give, but that's part of our enrichment. And uh, one of the examples of that just this year um, some students came to us, they'd identified the, the amount of uh, pens and pencils that were in the bottom of the lost property box um, that weren't being claimed, just, just loose ones, not ones in pencil cases. Um, and what they did was they started putting them together to make them into pencil cases for anyone that had lost theirs. And they were then selling them with all the proceeds going to Cancer Research UK. So entrepreneurship, charity, thinking outside the box. And, and that was this year's year sevens. Um, I'm just looking at a question. Are we expecting school clubs to start from week two? We'll start them as soon as we can. Yes, if we're able to start them from week two, we absolutely will. In terms of books that are recommended, um, if you go on the website, you can look at the Learning to Fly. There's a whole load of things there from podcasts to articles to books. Um, there's lots of things that the students can be looking at over the summer. And I think one of the things, sorry, Mrs. Sword, um, some people were asking about preparing for September and I think to be perfectly honest as long as your daughters have got their eyes and ears open and they're carrying on absorbing everything that's going on around that's the best preparation that they can get for September that they're carrying on being inquiring um, and, and taking the world in around them so that they can assimilate all of that when they come back to school. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've got a question about timetables. The students will get their timetables on the first day of school. So they'll have some time on the first day to get to know their form, to spend some time with their form teacher to orient themselves and they'll get their timetables. And yes, we do put girls um, who travel from similar areas in contact with one another. The first protocol that we do is actually within their form themselves, um, just sort of like get together who lives in this area, who lives in that borough. Um, and inevitably within days, they get to know who else is traveling from that same area in different forms. So that's really, um, that's something that the girls just tend to sort out themselves. Um, I've got a question about um, parents being able to, to meet with each other and start a WhatsApp group. We normally have early on in the autumn term uh, an evening just for parents to get to meet each other and we tend to encourage parents from the same form um, to socialise and that's run by the Parents Association. Um, if we're allowed to, to do that we obviously will be doing that as well this year. So there will be opportunities for parents to, to get to know each other.
So just pick up on um, a question about Japanese. The girls have a Japanese day. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to run it this year, but it was planned just after their end of year exams and just before they were supposed to go on their annual end of year trip to Cadbury's World. So we do have a whole day which is dedicated to, to Japanese culture and that's sometime in June. I've just got a question about um, inter-school competitions. We have a very strong house system. Those of you who are in 7S with Mr Hunt, you'll see he, he thinks um, he's like Hufflepuff in uh, Harry Potter. We do have a very strong house system and we have a lot of house competitions from singing to baking to sports competitions. So the students get an opportunity to take part in those. Um, I've got a question, um, how do the girls engage with politics? Uh, enormously, I think, is the answer. Um, <laughs> history and politics are probably two of the most popular subjects at A-level. We do have, um, our girls are feminists, they do want to change the world, they are changing the world. Um, we had one of our current year 11 set up a seroptimist um, association, that's the first one in Bromley, that, that's worth looking at. Um, yes, the girls are heavily involved in politics. And uh, our head of year 11, Director of Learning at the Key Stage 4, is our head of government and politics. And she has been over the moon over the last couple of years for the amount of uh, mock elections she's been able to run. And we do those across the whole of the school. So every student and every member of staff gets the chance to vote. Um, and, and as soon as we went through a series of quite quick general elections, she was bouncing around um, and very excited. We had hustings, we had students leading each of the parties, they run a campaign trail, they presented in assemblies. Um, so everybody is involved in, in politics because it's about making sure that, that all of the women in our school have that voice and that vote that was fought so hard for. Yeah, and we also do foundation studies in year seven and politics. We touch on that on a few lessons within that course as well. Trying to see whether we've answered uh, all the questions. There will be, I will be putting on the website uh, f uh, frequently asked questions. So any questions um, that haven't been answered, we will try and, and put them on there. There's also going to be a recording of the form tutors talk that will be on the website as well for you. Um, and, and do feel free to email into the office email if you do have any other questions. Mr Blount, I think that's a question for you. How come Mr Blount has such a sharp looking haircut despite lockdown? <laughs> I've done it myself. I've done it myself. <laughs> all those years of sitting in the barbers watching, it's all paid off. It's all I paid see they off. have comments of another hairstyle and, on the sword. No, we're, we're there's a little bit less of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think what, what I would would say is what's made me most proud of doing lockdown is the way our students have risen to it, have kept working and it's kept our community together. And I think, you know, your daughters will be joining that and within literally within the first hour of stepping foot in Newstead, they will be part of our family and our culture. And I think that's testament to the skills and the character traits that they develop during their time at Newstead. So today um, our head of history was in and um, working on site and I could hear this noise in the corridor and she was having a tutor group um, session. So all of her tutor group were online at the same time. And as I walked in, they all went Mr Blount and started waving on their videos and I waved on mine. Um, they are part of the school community, even though they're spread out and, and are a long way away from us geographically, they're very much still part of the school and your daughters will be by the end of their first day, they'll be part of the school. Um, they'll they'll be sold on it. And and as I said at the beginning, it will be different in September, but actually they will have a ball and they will thrive. Um, they'll thoroughly enjoy themselves. They've got one of the best schools in the country um, that they're attending. We're really proud to be part of it and they will too. I think we're almost at the end of the session. That's taken us to, to just about nine o'clock. As I say, there will be more opportunities to, to ask and answer questions. Please don't worry. Um, your daughters will also have the opportunity to ask and answer questions on the virtual induction day. 
And the minute that we can let them through our gates, we absolutely will. We are all really can't wait to get back to Newstead. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.